everyone, it is currently Saturday night at about 9.25 to be exact. And maybe 9.26 now? Okay, whatever. We're not gonna be too picky about it. And I have means here with me. Um, and I'm in my Halloween pajamas. I kinda, so tonight, <laughs> I really wasn't planning on doing this video. I kinda shot something earlier. And I was like, I kinda wanna have a snack, but I don't really know which kind of snack I wanna have. And then I was like, maybe I should just film myself eating snacks. <laughs> Because a couple days ago I was at Aldi and I picked up some snacks that I've never tried before and some of them I haven't opened up some of them I've I've opened up and dabbled in a little bit and others I've been eating like during the these kind of warmer months like summer or late spring and I just feel like I need to talk to somebody about my feelings about these snacks that I can't stop eating and share this information <laughs> with my friends okay so it is Saturday night we're having snacks in our pajamas and a full face of makeup. We're going all in and I, I have a bunch of snacks here. Um, we have anything from chips. We got some salsas. We have, we have like a whole smorgasbord of salsas going on here. Crunchy, salty, sweet, all the things kind of snacks. I have a big old jar of pickles. I don't think we'll eat this entire thing tonight. We're gonna jump into this. I'm gonna try these onion rings because I've been dying to try these onion rings. Literally just got these yesterday and I'm shocked they made it 24 hours without being open. These actually do have milk in them. So if you are vegan, these are a no-go for you, but um, they are gluten-free. Says on the package, doesn't it? Is it not? Wait, what? No, it is gluten-free, okay. Wait, no, I don't wanna, f these are the hot ones. I don't wanna fry off my taste buds first. So let's do the regular ones. This says Clancy's onion rings. Anyways, let's just try them because I'm, like my mouth is actually watering. Does that ever happen? Oh yeah. Oh, those taste just like Funyuns. Ooh. I could sit here and eat this whole thing. Actually, I feel like they have more flavor than Funyuns. Like, there's like a, like almost like a ranch or like a sour cream and onion, some sort of powder over the top. Mmm, mmm. Oh, I didn't even show you what they look like. Like this. So like a Funyun. Mmm. These are so good, better than Funyuns. It's all about that seasoning. Oh, it's good. It's like sour cream and onion Funyuns is what it's like, honestly. And this bag is not gonna make it to the end of the night. I'm just gonna be honest about that. Okay, moving on to the hot onion rings. And they look like this. Well, that's not a full ring. Let's get a full ring. Look like this. Let's just do a little bit of onion ring porn really quickly. We're going in. I don't like. Why well, if you keep eating it because it's hot? <laughs> There's just something in that. There's like a flavor in that. I need to erase that with these. So, <laughs> there's something a little funky about some flavor in this hot onion ring one. It's like a weird aftertaste, like a fake cheese taste, like a stale Cheeto taste is like exactly what it tastes like. All right, so here's my final verdict for the Clancy's onion rings. The regular onion rings, run, do not walk, get yourself some of these. These hot ones, Hot onion rings, I would just go for the Funyuns version. They're 5,000 times better. This has some weird, funky aftertaste, kind of tastes like a stale Cheeto, in my opinion. Sometimes I've noticed with Clancy's though, that some things can vary. Like sometimes I'll get a bag that's stale, and other times I'll get a bag that's really flavorful. So it could just be this batch. 
But I, I was gonna try it again to make sure I wasn't wrong, but like I can't. They just didn't look, I'm so excited. I thought these hot ones were gonna be better than the original. And no. Uh, so next up, we're gonna do a salsa extravaganza because I have all of the feels. Sorry, Needs. Oh, you got crumbs all over your head. I'm sorry, girl. When it comes to these salsas. And my mom makes salsa homemade and I'm a little bit biased when it comes to salsa. Also, chips and salsa is like my favorite snack food ever. If I could choose any snack food to eat for the rest of my life, it's gonna be chips and salsa. Anyways, the first salsa I'm gonna tell you about is this mild, I'm gonna zoom you in. This is so good. This, the Simply Nature mild, whoa, mild salsa, that's what it looks like, is so good, I can't stop eating it. It is like the best restaurant style Salsa kind of I don't know if you can see inside of it. I don't want to like tilt it and then I don't know It's kind of it's not chunky, but it's not Exactly smooth. It's in the middle. It's like restaurant style salsa is the only way I can describe it This is the mild. I've also tried the medium and let me just tell you the medium one to me is Is not as good. It doesn't have as much flavor. Also these Clancy's big dipper chips are so good. These are the best tortilla chips, in my opinion, that you can get at Aldi. They taste like almost like the real thing, like the Tostitos or whatever. And they're just like the dippers, you know. Which, I prefer a longer bubbly type of chip, but like in like kind of a thin, crispy chip. But I'm not mad at the scoops. Like, I'll eat them. They're totally fine. Let's get a good dip in there. Oh, yeah. And that is kind of... Just like a chunky situation, but not too chunky. Mm. Oh my God, I it so good. It just tastes like a restaurant style salsa, but it still has a little bit of a kick on the back end. It's so good. It's so good. This is the best salsa. I'm not even joking. The best salsa that I've had from any store in a long time. It's just so good. Mmm. <laughs> For a second, I think my lungs thought that salsa is air because that's how much I eat it. <laughs> no, okay. All right, the next one is also really good. This is a new favorite. My mom got me turned on to this one. She's like, you gotta get the Pico. You gotta get the Pico. And I was like, all right. And it is the freshest looking and tasting situation. It's just, you know, if you've had Pico before, if you haven't, it's basically just like a, like a bunch of tomatoes, cilantro, jalapenos, onions. Sorry, my AC's kicking on. Like all chopped up and put in with some lime juice and some, I don't know. And this one in particular is really good from Aldi. It's gluten free. And you know what? I just go in with my scoopers. This is where the scoopers come in handy. You gotta, you gotta get a good amount in there. There we go. Mmm. It's the jalapenos in there. Oh, woo! Got some jalapeno seeds. Woo, woo, woo! Whoa, this one's spicier than... We're clearing the sinuses. Whoo, that's hot. If you keep going, you can't feel it. Whoa. Oh, this is spice. Man down. If you like spice and you like pico, this stuff is so good. It's spicy. And you know what I do sometimes? I'll take this, and it kind of cools it down too when I do this. I'll take some refried beans, uh, the fat-free kind if you're a vegan, you wanna get the fat-free. And I put them in a separate little bowl with some sour cream, and then I dip it in, I dip the chip in the sour cream and beans, and then dip it in the pico or other way around, whichever one, way you wanna do it. It's like a whole seven layer explosion in your mouth that is so good if you wanna throw some avocado in there or whatever. <sighs> you know it's good when your nose is literally running down your face. All right, this one is new to me. It's been there. My mom actually told me about this one. So this one is the pineapple habanero. Let's zoom you in. Pineapple habanero salsa. And it looks pretty gross. Not gonna lie. Kinda looks like 
like vomit a little bit. Not the kind of aesthetic I personally go for when it comes to salsa. <laughs> it's like yellow. It's, it, it ain't good looking, but that's okay. You can just ignore it. So it's got that spice with the sweetness. So it's got pineapple and habanero. Oh, let's go in. Tomatoes, pineapples, onions, green peppers, cilantro, garlic, and habanero peppers. I read that really fast, but hopefully you got it. All right, so I'm trying to decide how I feel about this. So it's the pineapple habanero is good. It's really good, but I feel like I have to be in the mood for it, if that makes sense. Like I need that to be in the mood for the sweet. Like it's kind of like sushi in my opinion. Like if you eat sushi, I feel like if you're not in the mood for a sweet sushi, then you're gonna be like, ugh, like you just like don't, you may not want it. Or some people just like it no matter what. But like, I have to be in the mood for that sweet and spicy flavor. If I'm in, like if I'm in a savory moment and you give me sweet, I'm just not gonna be so excited about it. So that's how I'm feeling right now. But the other day when I tried it, I was really excited about it and really liked it. So I would definitely recommend it and to try it if you like sweet salsas or sweet slash spicy salsas. This one's good. All right, moving on to the Clancy's Kettle Corn Sweet and Salty. It's just, it's what it looks like. It's just a kettle corn. And I believe the kettle corn is seasonal. I could totally be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I just started seeing it pop up. And I, spoiler alert, love this. My husband and I were watching scary movies and basically ate the entire bag. I've never had kettle corn before. It's like a... It's what you get at carnivals. So, uh, it's like a sweet and salty popcorn. Whoops, whoops. I'll get that later. It's just so good. I feel like I need to sit down somewhere. I just sit and snack. By the way, this is gluten free, but it says it does have milk in it. I don't taste it, but it has milk technically. I'm getting full, I'm gonna sit down. I feel like popcorn is one of those things that you could just eat and eat and eat and eat and you just don't get full. It's not, I'm not gonna lie, it's not as good as fresh out of the kettle like at a carnival, which is the best thing ever, but it's, it's just as good as maybe buying a bag of it. So while these are seasonal, I would say definitely get the onion rings, get yourself some kettle corn. I love this. I feel like somebody told me to get the Clancy's kettle corn when it comes out in the summer. We're gonna try these pickles. Well, I've already tried one. <laughs> I saw these at Aldi. These best made dill pickles. They're like big old dill pickles like you get, once again, at a carnival. So these pickles, I, I, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm a pickle connoisseur, but I'm also a pickle connoisseur. <laughs> but I'm kind of procrastinating because I didn't really like these. <laughs> and I'm about to eat one. Okay, these were like really, really, really salty and really sour. It's making my tongue shrivel up just thinking about it. All right, all right, so I'm gonna bite into this. All right, let me put this in my napkin. bad pickle before but I actually like this <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna eat this whole thing oh I swear sometimes I get just you know the vinegar but I lied I pretty much love this pickle it has the county fair taste like the it's like a different it's like a whole different flavor it's really, really salty and really, really vinegary. Almost acidic. It burns back your throat a little bit. It's like, it's like really vinegary. Like I have goosebumps, actual goosebumps because of how vinegary <laughs> it's salty. But if you like that kind of like county fair, really salty, really vinegary pickle, you gotta get these best best made dill pickles. Next up for dessert, 
We're having some ice cream. We're having pickles and ice cream, apparently. We're not pregnant, that's just how I eat normally. These almond milk ice creams. This is the first time I've seen these. I didn't get the vanilla kind. I got the mocha fudge, which let's zoom in a little bit. The mocha fudge one, can I have this? Almond milk, sugar cane, I didn't even check to see if I had malt in it. It doesn't actually say gluten-free on here, but I don't see anything in it. Mm. You gotta get like a good bite of, you gotta get some of that fudge in there, and then the mocha, and you gotta go in. That is so good. Um, oh, oh, that's good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just standing here eating this. It's just so good. It's just so good. There's fireworks going off outside. And I feel like it's celebrating this ice cream. It is so good. It's so good. Oh. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready to talk about it. This mocha fudge, vegan ice cream, earth grown, vegan, whatever. I don't I don't I don't know what it is, but it's a mocha fudge. It's seriously so good, I could go take a nap. <laughs> Between the mocha flavor and the fudge, and the mocha flavor is, it reminds me of haagen -Dazs. This is probably one of the better dairy-free ice creams I've had, if we're being honest, um, that I'll be definitely repurchasing. But I also wanna try this. This is just the plain chocolate one, let's zoom in. Just plain chocolate, the earth-grown vegan brand once again. All right, I'm gonna go in. It just looks like chocolate ice cream. So I'm just gonna go in and we're gonna try it out. Means you can't have any of this. I'm sorry, girl. You're highly allergic. Oh, big butt. Mmm, I'm supposed to simmer. I mean, I'm not mad at it, I just can't decide. All right, I think I got it. All right. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about the chocolate. I'm, I'm not mad at it, like I'll definitely eat it. Don't worry, it'll be gone in like less than a few days, I'm sure. Kind of tastes like a little bit like a frosty malt at, but there's no malt in it, not in the ingredients at least, but it kind of tastes like a frosty malt at the ba like baseball games or whatever. Where the chocolate flavor isn't big, but if I had to choose between the two, I would go for the mocha fudge because I love coffee and I love the fudge situation going on in here. I feel like if this chocolate had the fudge in it, it would take it to a whole other planet. Like the double chocolate situation, like it would just give it, like it would just give it that extra depth that I feel, yeah, yep. Yeah. This chocolate one is very one note, which it's just chocolate, so it's gonna be one note. But I'm a huge fan of the mocha fudge. I would say this mocha fudge situation just needs to always happen. It is so good. I could sit here and eat the whole thing. It's delicious. I, and I'm really excited to try the other flavors. Anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you could give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. If you wanted to see some more kind of snack videos, what video, what kind of snacks I'm into right now or taste testing different snacks, I'm totally down. I love snacking. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.